Project Life Tuesday uh, video for you. I usually share my family album and the work that I'm doing on it. But today I wanted to show you some work that I've started doing on Kayla's album. If you're in the membership group here on YouTube or through my website, then you saw the whole process of this. I really dove in and talked a lot about what I'm doing um, to get started with Kayla's album. Now you'll notice this isn't in an album and this is a tip that I wanted to share with you guys. I know sometimes you're ready to start an album um, or you're ready to dive in and do some work on something and then you don't have an album, right? And you're like, well, what do I do? And I am redoing Kayla's albums. Hers are pink and if you've seen my album wall then you've seen that um, her albums are pink and uh, I want to redo them for a, to a different color and so I haven't purchased albums yet. And so this is something that I do when I'm starting a project and maybe I don't have an album is I just put them together with rings and I am also starting a personal Project Life album and so this is going to be a 6 by 12 album that I'm doing and I did the same thing where I just added rings and I have my page protectors, I have a pocket here in the back that is 6 by 12 and then as soon as I either find an album or decide you know how I want that project then I'll put it in there and then same with Kayla as soon as I get her uh, album then I will pop this in here so with my kids's albums I get several years in one album so let me show you Kayla's last album this is her last album and it is volume 5 so she currently has um, five, uh, five physical albums and then this would be the sixth album that she has the sixth volume and everything's not complete in my kids's album because it's something that I um, got a little bit behind in and I'm working through getting caught up. I'm catching up on Kayla's albums first because I only will do albums for my kids through the end of high school and she's just a couple years out. So this one starts in 2019 and then what I do for my kids is I do a spread like this in the Project Life app. I do one per month. So this is January 2019 and then here's a handful of photos from that month and you can see I didn't even journal in here. I didn't add any words um, as uh, I always say. Um, if there's something that you're struggling with, if there's an aspect of memory keep, keeping that you're struggling with, let it go. And getting their albums, getting the pictures and the, them printed and, and done each month is more of a priority to me than getting hung up on the journaling. Now, currently, this month, so, well, last month, for the month of um, March is the first month in I don't know how many years where I actually added the journaling within the Project Life app and in my membership I share every month I share putting together the kids' pages and I talk through that. I teach an aspect of using the Project Life app or some different things that I'm doing that involve my kids' album and for a long time I didn't have any journaling in there and I'm not worried about it. Um, I would rather have these photos in an album like this and not have journaling than them still be on my phone and me caught up or worried about not getting them done because I'm not adding the journaling, right? So whatever you're doing is enough and at the time this was perfect, it was enough, it was exactly what I needed. And so you can see that within, I do this exactly the way that I do my, uh, my um, family album in that, uh, I'm just going to cover up that information, uh, in that anything that is extra I put in between um, the month. So this is February 2019. She actually only had one layout because I just, that's all the photos that I had. And then she has a report card in here and then she has some extra stuff on this side and then when we turn the page we have March and then she has a 
I almost said a family photo. That's not a family photo. That's a school photo. And I just have a page. I need to get a uh, page protector. I need to grab one out of my stash. And it will go right in here just like this. And then she had more photos. And you can see I have a little bit of journaling in here. Um, so when I was able to do the journaling right in the app, that's what I did. So there's still lots of things in here that need to be... Um, added or I need page protectors. Here's some of her fifth grade work where I just took photos of her work and put it in here. And then here's some extra um, things, right? And then we go into July, 2019. So then all I do is I just keep going, right? And then she had science camp. So she has a bigger photo here. And then the, I did these also in the app. You see they're not journaled. And then you see there's some, this is where um, some things didn't get printed, the end of 2019. And then we go into 20, uh, 20. And then back here, you're gonna start to notice. So here's, all this is 2020. And then here is the start of 2021. Here's some layouts that I did. So some actual traditional style layouts. Then March of 2021. And then the rest of 2021 is not in here. Um, and so that will go through 2021. And then um, 2022 starts in this album that is not in an album. And so I really got motivated recently to start working on this. So I had gone through volume five. I had saw what needed to be done. I need to do a lot of printing through the app. And so I will just do that as, um, as I can, or each month I will print a few things. Um, I'm trying to print like every other month in the app. And then this is the title page for 2022. And then we open it up and then you see that here I've just used sticky notes and we have 2022. And then I had had some things printed um, for just, I had gotten some a few things printed so I have this this was a summer 2022 and then you see the page protectors are in there and then this is the title page for 2023 this was fun I did this in an app um, on my phone that turned photos into sketches and so then I got it printed large and that is 2023 and then here's January and February of 2023. All of this is caught up. I just haven't printed all of this stuff, right? So, but I know where everything is. It's just some um, different inserts. There's some different pages that I've done, but you can see everything is held together. And then here is when she was playing volleyball. And then some of her work is in there. And then I start right here in January 2024. Now all of her, all of the girls' pages are caught up through this year. So I went back in December and I have a video in my membership group sharing this process. But I went back and with Kayla and Violet, I caught up from 2021, 2022, and 2023. And then I, at the start of this year, 2024, I started staying um, consistent and caught up with the kids' albums. And so, Andrew, I do need to go back and do a couple years, um, which will be fine. I can catch that up over a weekend. I can do that. But here is 2024. Uh, January and then here's February you can see again there's no journaling in these spots and then this is an extra page I did here is an envelope page and then here is a couple page protectors and again I am caught up and I will print every couple months and then just drop them in here so I just wanted to share this tip that if you're wanting if you're feeling inspired to put together a project and maybe you don't have an album or maybe everything isn't exactly perfect and you saw like I didn't have a few page protectors for a few things because I needed different sizes you can totally start to work on it 
always seize the motivation when you have it. So I always feel like if you're motivated to do something, then do it right then and move forward because it will just build. Now that I'm doing it every month and I'm keeping up on it again and I got caught up a little bit, I'm totally feeling motivated to continue doing it and it's helping me stay up with the project. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this. We'll be back to my family album next uh, week. And um, if you have any questions, let me know if you want to join us in the membership it would be great to have you um, it's where I do the majority of my kids um, work for their albums but again if you have any questions let me know or if there's anything specific you want to see about kids albums let me know in the comments below and I'll do a video sharing that with you I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will catch you in my next video